uh, we would go to the rodeo. Uh, my mother-in-law would, uh, would be in town and um, this would be one of the rodeo shirts. It's not a shirt I wear every day. Um, but uh, the rodeo, of course, is canceled. And so uh, I'm still gonna wear the shirt. However, uh, in the spirit of uh, what would be the rodeo and, uh, and hopefully next year, uh, next year I can wear the shirt at, at the Houston Livestock and Rodeo. Okay, there's the, there's the reason for the shirt. Now, now you know. So let's, uh, let's move forward with, uh, here we go, with, with this. Alexa off. Hmm, not sure what I did to get Alexa going there. Okay, folks, uh, the title of the presentation is Writing Their Own Way Through History. Um, this is about a, 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 a OER uh, textbook uh, in, in conjunction with, with, with undergraduates. Um, um, there's my, my email. If anyone would like to get uh, a hold of me for any reason, um, I'm, I, I tend to make myself available um, whenever, whenever someone needs me. Uh, I'm at uh, Houston Community College, uh, the East Side um, campus, uh, which is uh, which is right, 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 right across the way from uh, from the University of Houston uh, downtown area. Um, my campus is a is a minority majority uh, campus, and I've I've, I've been there since uh, since 2006, and so very 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 soon after after getting there, I, I decided. Uh, to, 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 to change up my lectures and discussions and, and assignments uh, to, to add what I hope would be my, my students' voices and experiences uh, in, in, in the hopes of, 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 of connecting them more with these historical events in, in the hopes that I could uh, keep them uh, in, their, in their seats for 15 weeks and, 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 and not just keep their attention, uh, but, but to elevate their level of of, of success. Um, and and in, the, in, the, in the process, I, I started to develop these open educational resources, uh, collections of documents, uh, collections of articles and essays, uh, political cartoons. And, and for those of you who, who, who don't know, the University of Houston puts out this, this, this wonderful uh, program on NPR called uh, Engines of Our Ingenuity. Uh, put out by the uh, the, uh, the College uh, of Engineering, and um, it, it's about it's not just engineering. It, it's about it's about everything, uh, everything anything you can imagine. It's about and and every once in a while it, it's about history. So I, I've I've called all the all, all the history episodes and I make them available to my students. Anyhow, I have this this large collection of of, of OER material that I keep online in our. In our in our we use Canvas, so in our in our Canvas classrooms, um, in, in in the hope that one day I can collect enough material so students would be able to to use all of that for for research assignments. I I teach uh, you know the 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 U.S. survey uh, courses, so um, uh, students don't really have a, a lot of uh, they don't come to our classes with a with a lot of background on on, on research. So I I, I try to. Try to try to help them out there by by creating creating these these, these resources. Um, one thing that I learned uh, from from students, something that I didn't have to deal with, um, was of course the issue with the textbooks. Um, when I was in their shoes, which which wasn't that long ago, because I I, I went to college when I when I was older after after I got out of the army, um, was I was I, I took advantage of of the GI Bill, so. Uh, the GI Bill paid for my books, and because books were 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 not that expensive when I went to, to college, I would I would buy extra books, books that 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 interested me, which which students can't do that anymore. Books are just are just too expensive, and 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 students made me aware how how expensive uh, they were. This is this is a quote from one of my students. Um, although this is this is this is an attitude, this is a feeling that. Many, many of my students have have articulated uh, over the years. Um, they have to buy these books, these 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 two hundred dollar chemistry books, these these one hundred fifty dollars humanities books, and they just don't use the whole textbook. And 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 even the history books can be relatively uh, expensive when when you just don't have a lot of a lot of resources. And and 
the students that I teach primarily would fall into that category of not necessarily having access to uh, to those to those resources. Um, and so I, I, I started to use something called just called design design thinking, which 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 you see a lot in 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 product design. Okay, Apple, Ford. Um, it's about getting to know what the and I'm not going to use consumer because I, I that's that would be Apple that would, that would, that would be Ford. Um, I get to know what the students' needs are, both their met and and their unmet unmet needs. Um, get to know them as individuals and and as and as and as and as a group um, to develop empathy for them. Um, goes much beyond just just knowing their names, but but understanding them, uh, their backgrounds. Um, like I said, both individuals and as and as and as a collective. I Meaning, you know, how each class is, is has their own their own set of of characteristics, um, both their rational and their and their and their emotional uh, needs. So, this 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 idea of of oh sorry, this idea of design thinking is 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 very time consuming. In other words, um, rational and emotional needs are are obviously to save money. That's that's one of the rational needs. Um, to pass the class is 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 a rational. But the, one of the emotional needs that I found out is is to make connections. Um, connections with with history. They they really don't want to read about a bunch of white guys who are wealthy, um, who are who are elite. Who they've heard about their entire um, K through 12 experience. Um, they want to hear about people who look like them, who have their shared experience, who are who are non-elite in, in, in American society. Um, they want to make connections with other students in the classroom. Um, and so a lot of group work is, is important. Yes, they will roll their eyes and they will, they will, they will emit these sounds of, of disappointment when you talk about group work, but, but ultimately they, they really, in my experience, really appreciate group work. And they want to make connections with their, with their, with their instructors. Um, they, they really want their instructors to, to know who they are beyond just their student number or beyond, um, beyond just, their, just their names. So I started this, this, this OER textbook uh, by myself um, several years ago. Uh, before before my son was born, uh, probably uh, 20, 20, late 2010, early 2011. Uh, and then I had to put it on the shelf, uh, the electronic shelf, when my son was born in, in 2012. And a few years went by and I revived the, uh, uh, the textbook. And then, and then, and then, I, then I read an article about, uh, about the, the, the use of, of graduate students in their content in, in, in OER textbooks uh, and, and how a lot of people thought that was, that was questionable and difficult to work with. And I, and I thought challenge accepted. I'm, I'm gonna do that at, at, for, 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 for entry level uh, survey uh, students and, and, and let's see what happens. And so, so here's, here's what I do. I, 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 I first would, would select uh, a topic, not, 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 not too specific, um, you know, let them, Figure out how they're how they're going to demonstrate the topic. Um, help them out with their with the research. Give them give them some ideas. Point them in the right direction. Have them uh, go to this database or check out uh, this book at the library. Um, and 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 then and then have them produce an initial draft. And we would then uh, go over this together. Um, the cohort, the, the group would, would then review um, their first drafts. Um, the cohort would then edit their, their first drafts and then the individuals would, would produce a, a second draft. So we have both uh, individual work and, 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 and group work in, in, in my little uh, arena here. Um, in the final step, they would, they would have to use our, our writing center. Um, what I like about our writing center is that they have there's, there's, there's two instructors. Uh, they have an English instructor who goes over it, and then they have a history instructor who goes over it. 
and then then they'll finally produce a a, a final draft. So there, there there's a there's a lot of eyes uh, who, who who go over um, uh, uh, what they're doing. Uh, there's a lot of collaboration, um, and and I and I think this 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 going back and forth in the in the group work and that in that cohort review and the and the cohort editing uh, produces something beyond just that. That 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 linear uh, body of work that 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 undergraduates can produce or traditionally do produce um, when they're just doing it all by themselves. Um, I find that 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 both their, their individual success and and the retention uh, has 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 markedly uh, increased um, through the use of using student content in our OER uh, textbook. Um, and then we have the, the carpooling uh, issue. Um, I've seen my numbers increase anywhere between 75 to 100% um, success, um, anywhere between 33 to 93% uh, retention, um, in, in which you know they will they will come and, and, and join me again. Um, and then we have the, the carpoolers. Um, I had a cohort of, of five students for the first part of US history, and 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 then before the virus, and they they showed up in the second part of U.S. history. All, all five of them came came marching in together, and uh, and I saw that, that that's nice. And they asked me uh, if they could if if they could remain as a as a group. And I said, well, of course, if that's what you want to do. You you guys go go right ahead. And and throughout the semester, we were, we were talking, and and they told me that that they they did not know each other at all. Uh, and then I put them in that group in the previous semester, and and they became they became friends. And they realized that 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 they lived in such a manner manner, manner, manner. That, that they could um, uh, pick each other up, and so they've been carpooling uh, to school uh, from then on, and and they became good friends. So there we go. There is an anecdotal uh, uh, possible uh, reason to have a student content with an OER textbook because uh, they'll carpool and 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 save gas, and so OER textbooks with uh, with student content is is green. Well, besides the obvious uh, economic uh, impact uh, that, that, uh, that, that, that students uh, receive for an OER uh, a textbook, um, we use the textbook as, uh, I mean, that's their textbook. And they get a kick out of that. They, they, they tell me how much they, they appreciate uh, reading what other students had to say. Um, we use the textbook as assignments. Um, I've assigned editing certain chapters that their classmates in previous semesters um, have done. Uh, it's a research tool because of all of the of all the footnotes, of all of the hyperlinks, of, of, of all of the uh, 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 other uh, 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 citations and 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 for further readings, uh, the bibliographies. Um, there's, there's there's just so much in there for for students uh, to use as a as a as a research tool. Uh, this is the uh, this is the uh, the, uh, the URL ourstory.wordpress.com. Let's see if this opens up. I was thinking about it. Dun, 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 dun. Can you guys see it, or do I need to open this up in a in a separate? Uh, I think you do, Jim. I need to open it up in a separate. Okay, so I let's. Think you uh, need to toggle over. Okay, so and this is oh. absolutely fascinating um, how you're leveraging this high impact sort of learning experience to sort of build community amongst the students. I'm, I'm really excited about this, this whole idea. The carpooling so thing is amazing. You guys can see it now? Yep. Uh, our story in Solar to US history. Okay, here we go. Here's my, uh, my open source uh, photograph here on the on the cover. Uh, that's my son, probably about three years ago, on on the fourth of July, um, and uh, and uh, and there there's all sorts of all sorts of ways uh, all sorts of ways around it. Start with a nice, I think it's a nice nice Teddy Roosevelt quote. I like I like Teddy Roosevelt. I know he's done some things that uh, that currently are are out of uh, out of vogue, but this daring greatly quote I uh, I kind of like, and. Um, Breaks up nicely into the various chapters, the uh, introductions, and then uh, and then we go down. Um, I, I I have uh, the full set of chapters for the first part of U.S. history. 
Uh, we're still working on the second part of U.S. history. We are we are through the 1950s, so we we have uh, we have several chapters yet to uh, to accomplish. Hey uh, Jim, I, I, yes. I see there's some questions in the chat that um, oh, yes. uh, there's one of them here, and it says, uh, "Do you have a general syllabus?" statement indicating that they are agreeing to their work being used or something similar. I'm just curious about yeah. how to approach that kind of current and future use scenario. Oh, that's yeah, interesting. Uh, yeah, I, I, I tell them that, that there's a possibility of the use. And then I go to each individual student and ask them, here's what I like, here's what I like to do with it. Do you approve, yes or no? And then I tell them, and, and, and each student whose work I used, I cite it. So I'll normally start with, in the fall of 2020, so-and-so uh, looked at uh, this event. And then I'll have his or her work there. And then, uh, then I, will, I, will, I will then have a little citation at the bottom attributed to the student. So then I'll ask the student, that's what I do. Do you want your name associated with it? Yes or no? And most of them do. Yeah, it's, it's and it's really cool how not only you leverage the carpooling thing, but also leveraging the resources that are on campus and getting students to sort of be aware of the writing center and so forth. Now, there was another uh, uh, question. Uh, someone wrote, when I tried to look at the link, it says that this P2 is private. So is this somehow a, a it, it's a gated? Uh, access no, to the site? no, that that that's that's a problem. It, it does happen every so often, and 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 uh, I I I think, and and I, I could be wrong, and, and I probably am wrong, uh, but I I think it is the um, uh, what's the word the uh, uh, textbook. I'm sorry. I think the the OER the textbook you're trying to show us in pressbooks.com. Yeah, it's I I I think I think the URL sometimes gets okay. Something is added to it. I mean, it's just ourstory.pressbooks.com. It's it's somebody else is saying it's working, so maybe it's a little bit spotty depending upon browser or. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe maybe it does depend on the browser. That's what mm -hmm. I was gonna say. I'm not exactly sure. I I I, I traditionally use uh, uh, Google's. Was that is that Chrome? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I use Chrome to put it together, and actually, in 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 Chrome, uh, it's all it's all black. I, I'm curious. I think, oh, I think going to the WordPress version, which is probably a private area of only to you, it's different from the Pressbooks uh, textbook. But I, I found the Pressbooks one once you share your screen, so I mm -hmm. put it in the chat. And then where it says sign in, that's that's where I sign in to to uh, that's where I would sign in to to do any any editing, any any additions, anything like that. So, but so, um, yeah, so the so the sign in is is for uh, administrative purposes. So Jim, it sounds like uh, this is a ma mammoth project, right? Um, yeah. it, 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 anytime you have a textbook, you can keep on writing and writing and writing. At what point did you decide, okay, we're going to go back and try to make what's already up there better, and we're going to focus on the editing side? And you, you probably teach a pretty heavy load, so maybe you get to that point quicker than, than other folks would do. Um, but can you talk a little bit about that and the pace? Yes, I've been, I've been editing. Um, the further that we get, the more editing, the more seriously editing that I've been doing. And, and, and not just not not just the text that the students and I have, have, been, have been doing, um, but I've been going back and, and looking at the images. Um, not all the I've realized it dawned on me that all the images I've been using are, are not necessarily open source. Um, I, I thought that I was I was citing them or, or in some way attributing them to their original. I'm pointing this way, you know, because that's where they came from. Um, uh, and, and then I was told that that's not the case. So now I'm going back and not just editing the words, but also edit, trying to edit the images. And, 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 and so I, I decided that, that come the summer, I'm just going to start with page one. In the beginning, there was nothing. And, 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 and just start editing from, 
from the very beginning and, and, and not doing any more writing, not doing any more adding, not, not doing anything, but just focusing on, on the editing and, and on the images. And, so and yes. I, I, we've got three minutes and I was told to be mindful of time, but we've got one question, which is, so are the students working in press books as editors or WordPress? Uh, that was one question. And then the other one had to do with the fact that uh, how do you discuss it or tackle the concept of ideology and historical interpretation, or is it fairly stable, you know, between cohorts and so forth? That's a really interesting point, too. So the first one was pretty uh, straightforward. Are they editors in WordPress or are they working in press books? No, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would cut, I would, I would remove a chunk, uh, uh, put it in a Word file, hand it over to them and say, okay, guys, this is, this is the assignment, edit it. Mm -hmm. And then I'll, I'll take it afterwards and look at it and then that's good. That's good. Paste it back in there. Uh, regarding uh, the second question is all over the place. Uh, there is <laughs> uh, there is not a single unifying theme uh, except uh, diversity. Uh, diversity mm -hmm. of theme. There we go. You you okay. there 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 is not a single unifying historical theme to this book. Well. This has been fantastic. You know, um, I, I'm seeing a lot of positive feedback here, Jim, for what you, oh, you're, you're doing and actually working out uh, at HCC. I, I'm, I'm curious if, if other faculty in the history program, so you got one minute, is it you alone or do you have a team? Uh, so far, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's me. Okay, okay. Well, I want to give you a round of applause. I know we're sort of, you know, <laughs> thank you. Uh, we, we've hit our, our, our time limit. So, um, and I want to thank the participants. We had over 50 participants at this session. Oh, so wonderful. Thank good. you guys. Thank you very much. You, you struck a nerve. So uh, everybody's interested in this. So thank you again. Thank you, folks. Enjoy your time. I appreciate it.